Hi, it's Amy Simpson. So there's a saying that says we will never talk to anybody more than we talk to ourselves, so be kind. And it's so true because if you think about it often, we have this internal dialogue that is there all of the time, that we are almost have this bit of a narrative that goes along with everything that we're doing. And when we are generally feeling stressed or overwhelmed or anxious, that dialogue almost goes into panic mode as well and it starts to have a very, very negative bias and it starts to maybe be quite critical about the things that we're doing. And it's really, really important at the moment to notice that in our dialogue, to notice where we are giving ourselves an even harder time. So maybe we are, at the moment, there's so many unknowns. We're just, as we're coming out of lockdown and we're starting to kind of look at that whole kind of recovery and renewal of how we return to what is going to be the new version of normal um there's still lots of gaps around what we what we what might happen or what could happen and we're going to have to, that's part of how life's probably going to be for the next little while is we're just going to have to work with the information that we've got the guidance that we've got and kind of make the best of that um but what can happen is that little that little inner voice can start to kind of make us believe that we should know more that we should have the answers that we should be able to do this um and it's just recognizing that that is just part of when the mind is overwhelmed it's just part of that inner dialogue that ha that goes on um and i often ask people to begin to look at that as if it was somebody that you so if it wasn't just this little voice in our in our dialogue that's in your mind and it was actually somebody that you cared about so a friend, a colleague who came and spoke to you and said, this is how I'm feeling and I'm worried that I'm not doing enough. I'm worried that I should know more about what I'm doing or I'm worried that I'm not going to get it right or any of that. Um, probably a bit more harsh than that. Um, then what would you say to them? You wouldn't say, you know, you're being totally ridiculous and you're absolutely right. Everybody else, everybody else has got it sussed and you're the only one that's... You wouldn't, you wouldn't speak to a friend or somebody you cared about like that. You would listen and you would probably reassure them that actually you're doing a really good job with the information that you've got just now. You are doing amazingly well at supporting your team. You're maybe doing an amazing job doing all the stuff that you're doing through work, but also with people at home. Um, and it's remembering that. It's trying not to add and contribute to the pressure that we're putting on ourselves to give ourselves a bit of a break and just to acknowledge all the things that we are doing. Um, so see if you can help that inner voice be a bit more of a, a friend, a friendly voice, a kinder voice that kind of is there, kind of at the back of you recognising all of the good work that you're doing and giving you that little bit of praise as well. So I hope that helps.